Hello, and welcome to Yo Look What I Found, the channel where I usually talk about records and things I find at thrift stores and vlog-ish stuff, health, whatever. Well, I've been really, really into car uh, how-to YouTube channels like shout outs right now to Shifting Lanes, Scotty Kilmer, Chris Fix, and Ammo New York. I've been like and uh, Obsessed Garage as well, and uh, Auto Fanatic. I've been watching those channels like crazy, as much as I watch conspiracy theory videos. And there's a reason for that. I'm now sitting in my brand new, well, brand new used, donated uh, Volvo V70 2004 wagon. So this is my Volvo V70 intro to the world of Volvo video. Um, a little interesting story about the car. First of all, thanks. I want to send a humongous thanks to the Capelli family, uh, Andy, Massimo, and of course Holly, um, who were kind enough to donate this car to me and my family. And uh, I decided when I got this car that I was going to really try and like bring it back to like OEM status. Uh, kind of inspired by Gregson's uh, videos on his uh, V70R. It's not an R, but it's a 2004 Volvo V70 2.5T, so it's still a turbo, and there's some issues. <laughs> uh, thought it was as simple as a battery replacement, was psyched, got it insured, everything, drove up to Connecticut where it was sitting for a year, and put in a new battery, an auto uh, parts, advanced auto parts battery. Uh, the OEM battery from Volvo is a ridiculous amount of money. And so I thought well, we'd be good. Put it in, it started right up. There was no lights that night. I think there might have been a check engine light, but definitely not a battery light. And we drove it around the block and we did not drive it long enough. So I did not really notice anything. Came back up a week later with the plates, plated it up, was ready to go did some final checks, whatever, drive it out of my friend's driveway, get to the on-ramp to the Merritt Parkway in Connecticut, and it started feeling weird. So I said, let me go get some gas. Let me gas it up and see if it, you know, drive it for a little while before I get on the highway. And it's a very good thing I did that because then it started to completely bug out. And initially I thought it was the transmission, and it, because it was idling very strangely, um, and then it was not like making it into second gear. It wasn't, it wasn't shifting and it wasn't getting up hills. And so I thought, oh, maybe there's like no transmission fluid in it or really low transmission fluid. So pulled over to a garage miles later because Connecticut is like that. And I asked them for transmission fluid. They were like, no, we don't carry that. So then I, I was like, all right, let me fuel it up. So I fuel it up, turn it off. When I started it again, it started to sound, it, it was harder to turn over and start. Then I uh, filled it up, started it again, and it was also hard to start. Um, but it started, it was, it was starting, but each time it was like weaker and weaker. So I pull over to the side, away from the pumps, and I shut it off and start it one more time, and it was dead. And the, the, battery, the battery was still good for a while, um, but then as I sat in the car and ran my phone charger and the radio, it just started dying and dying. So I thought, okay, alternator. Um, then the guy from the gas station came out and tried to convince me it was the starter, but I didn't really believe him. And then I had to call AAA. Now, this is a long story, so prepare yourself. So the AAA guy comes and he hours later after I get five guys and you know sit there for a minute triple a guy comes and he gives it a jump he says it's your battery I said no but it's a new battery whatever whatever so he jumps it it starts up right away then he, the minute he takes the terminals off the jumpers off it dies so he's like oh let's charge it a little more so we charge it a little more it holds the charge for a little bit and then he says, let's see what's going on with it. And he starts revving it. He revs it and he says, oh, it's misfiring, which he's right about. I do believe it is still misfiring. So maybe a spark plug, whatever you people out there in YouTube Volvo land can tell me, I really appreciate. Um, so 
Then he says, when you put in the new battery, did you happen to see a spark at all? As a matter of fact, I did. There's an extra wire on the positive terminal and I was trying to loosen that to move it over to really secure the terminal down. But stupidly, <laughs> the black terminal was still connected when I did that, so I did get a spark. So I might have tripped something but now he told me, oh, in European cars, there's a fuse that's connected to that wire and not a lot of people realize it. He said, you could have just blew that fuse. What I would do is in the morning, I'd come back here, leave it here overnight, even though you live in New York, stay at your friend's place, get up early, go to the auto zone down the road, get the fuse, try the fuse. If it's as simple as that, you're good to go. He goes, if it's not that, it's probably the alternator. So then, he says, and if it's the alternator, it's dumb easy to do. Well, that night at my friend's place, we watched an IPD uh, installation video of the alternator and it's not dumb easy to do. Well, definitely not in an Exxon parking lot with no tools. Perhaps later on the road, when I, I mean, I'm gonna try and get into my own DIY mechanic uh, stuff with this car, but that's way too advanced right away. So anyway, he said there's a place called Harry Mays. You guys might know of him. He's down the road. Uh, he's right over here. He'll treat you good. Now, Harry May couldn't see me. So my friend, his wife takes his, her car to this place called Smitty's down the other way. So Smitty's, we had to, the next day, we had to get a tow to Smitty's. My friend wouldn't let me get the uh, fuse because he said, ah, oh, don't waste your time, blah, blah, blah. So... We go to Smitty's, they say it's an alternator. They say they can't look at anything else until they do the alternator. But I told them, you know, I am really just need enough to get it home. Now, they charged me about $600, you know, five and change in tax, it came out to $600 for a new alternator. Now, I looked up the parts online. IPD uh, had a original Volvo uh, alternator for $580. And the two Bosch alternators were like anywhere from two and change to three and change. So I thought 500, they're, they're 540, whatever they charged me, um, was a good price initially. Until I got the car today. And the car starts up and everything. And I did was able to get it home from Connecticut, but I still got to check engine light on. Now, I checked the alternator they put in. It's not a Bosch. It's a car something. I'll, I'll, I'll put the name up here. Um, it's a shitty aftermarket. It couldn't have cost more than $100. So they totally fucking ripped me off on price of labor. Then uh, I still got a check engine light on and I got an ABS light on. Now, and the sunroof doesn't work for some reason. Now I'm going to start it up for you. I'm not going to move it though, but it does start. I'll show you that. There you go. And you might be able to hear the misfiring because the the mic for the camera is right on the dashboard. So maybe you can actually hear the misfiring. Um, maybe not. You could definitely hear it when I idle. Here, I'll put it in drive. Uh, not so much. And when you're moving, it, it just rattles. So... So that's, uh, that's where we're at with the engine. Uh, of course I'm gonna do an oil change. I'm gonna shut the car off. Of course I'm gonna do an oil change, uh, full fluid change, except for the transmission fluid. I might do that later. I'm a little worried about doing transmission fluid uh, on an old car. Uh, so yeah, like I said, 2004 V70, 2.5 T. Uh, I've got some really silly plans for this car and I will show you the outside. Thanks for watching this channel so far, and um, there's gonna be a lot more V70 videos on the Yo Look What I Found channel. I'm still gonna do music stuff and you know record stuff and all that, but it's definitely gonna be a lot of Volvo videos as I have a lot of plans to put a lot of silly shit in this car and do a lot of work to it, and I cannot wait to do a first wash. I got all suited up with all my chemical guys shit. I'm probably gonna get some ammo stuff and I've watched hours and hours of detailing videos so I am gonna detail this car and probably do a lot of try uh, mods and things to bring it back to original status but also uh, some extras. So stay tuned and let's show you the rest of the car. 
Okay, here we have our uh, engine for the V70, and uh, it's extremely dirty. Uh, I did clean uh, this engine. Here I'm showing the uh, timing belt has been changed, and I'm good till 241,000 miles as the power steering fluid, which I did change out. As you can see, it's kind of dirty. You can't really see that, but I did change it out, and it doesn't need to be done again. And here we have the coolant. Uh, that needs to be changed out. I don't know what that is, but uh, there is some rust on the uh, firewall there. And here we have the engine block. It's completely dirty. I totally detailed that. And uh, and here we have the CarQuest uh, aftermarket cheap alternator that Smitty's of Norwalk, Connecticut totally ripped me off and overcharged me on labor and uh, told me they were putting in a more quality uh, alternator and they put that in. And the dirty engine bay, here's the filthy air box and the fuse box, just completely dirty. And here's the uh, filthy headliner, which I uh, vacuumed, but I do need to do a really uh, better detail of this car. And here we have the outside. This is before a wash, actually. And here is the uh, headlight with the working uh, wiper. See that uh, paint correction that needs to be done over there on the bumper. There's the grill. There is the other bumper uh, side. There's the cracked headlight on the driver's side. If anybody uh, has one for sale, I need one. Here is a filthy, filthy uh, rim, uh, which I did clean entirely. And the filthy tires. Uh, and there's a little side shot of the car. Uh, this is totally undetailed, unwashed. I totally washed it after doing this video. And uh, we have some uh, damage here to the fender. I need to figure out how to clip that back. Uh, I'm not sure what to do in that situation. And here we have another filthy rim. Here we have the broken uh, gas fuel door. I need to order this part from FCP Euro and fix that up. And here we have another rim. And the other side of the car, passenger side. And there's another rim that needs some paint uh, work. And I did buff a lot of that out with a clay bar. And there's some damage to the plastic <coughs> on the driver's side. And here we have the um, original Volvo alternator, which I do need to test at AutoZone and see if it's an actual working alternator. I am going to sell it. If it is, or maybe get someone to put it back in, I kind of feel like the alternator wasn't broken. Um, but maybe it was. Who knows? Either way, I'm going to sell this part. So if anybody wants it, um, let me know. And uh, here we have the original Volvo battery, which, being that it was a bad alternator, this battery might be totally fine. So I'm going to take this to uh, AutoZone and have this tested and possibly put it back in if it's working. And here we have the interior of the car. Uh, it's pretty messy. I have not done interiors yet, but I will do it this week. It, there's the phone keypad, which I have big plans for, and I will talk about in another video. Getting totally rid of this stock radio, so if anybody wants it, uh, let me know. Uh, there's the uh, steering wheel before I destroyed it. I think it's Alcantara, unless I just destroyed the leather by putting too much moisture. And there's a shot out of the uh, sunroof, which does not open as of right now. And there's the uh, windshield and a speaker, front speaker. And here we have the uh, back uh, seats of the car. And a little guy walking by, hello. And nice clean headliner, but does need some uh, detailing.
So where are we at now? What's the status? Status is that it's been cleaned. It's been sort of detailed. I got the check engine light off most importantly. And uh, the way I did that was by replacing the coil on the fifth cylinder. And I replaced all the spark plugs while I was at it. And, and we learned that Smitty's in Norwalk, Connecticut, uh, I wouldn't say they were horrible, but they probably aren't the most honest. Uh, and what, uh, where are we with the car? What else needs to be done? Uh, the ABS light needs to be addressed. Uh, I have to get a scanner that can read ABS and tell me which wheel, or if hopefully it's not the module, because I know the module in these cars tend to go bad. Uh, the sunroof, I checked all the fuses and they all appear to be good, even the fuse box under the hood. So if anybody has any idea, I do get an alarm service, uh, an alarm system needs to be serviced uh, message on the dash, but it's periodic, it's not constant. And I know that there is an alarm a box underneath the passenger side tire or a top on top of it and I know that some people pull that out and there's a battery in there that goes dead so that could be my sunroof issue. I'm going to be ordering from FCP Euro uh, this week. I'm going to be ordering the oil change kit and the fuel door uh, repair kit and I'm probably going to do um, coolant change. I might do the power steering again because it's not perfect Oh uh, yeah, I'm going to order the cabin filter and change that out and I'm also going to change out all of the wiper blades including the wiper blades on the headlights. Uh, I have plans to probably put updated headlights in but that's probably down the line. I might look for a junkyard part for now to get rid of the cracked but I might do these crazy headlights that are like more modern headlights and I'm definitely putting floodlights in, uh, probably PIAA. I'm doing all PIAA wipers except for the uh, headlight wipers. PIAA doesn't make them, so I'll be ordering the FCP Euro ones. I don't think that's it for now. Uh, I'm going to detail the interior. I did a little bit of that already. I'm definitely going to be changing the audio system and upgrading it, and I have some pretty crazy plans for the phone unit. I'm not going to talk about it here. I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to do a whole video on that. Um, oh, I definitely need to get the under side, under the car. Um, there's like a protective uh, like door that goes over all of the, you know, the oil tank and all that. That's missing, so I need to get one of those. I would like to get a junkyard part. I don't want to pay for a brand new one, but I might spring for one. And while I was under there, I noticed that the turbo in the car is very rusty on the underside. So before I go and mess with it and take a wire brush and make it worse, I want to get some opinions on how to seal that, the rubberized seal or something. I want to paint it so it stops rusting. Oh, and of course the wheels. I have to address the wheels. My passenger side rim is totally peeling um, and that needs to be addressed. I do want to do two sets of wheels for this car. I'd like to do winter and uh, summer and take the rims that came with it, plasti dip them and make those my summer tires and probably keep the all weather tires that are on there because their tread is pretty good. Uh, I just heard they're not good in snow. So I might do a dedicated winter tire and get another set of rims. Uh, probably a junkyard find and uh, if you could even do that, Volvo junkyard rims or if anybody has some rims, they're looking to sell. Uh, they could be in bad shape. I don't mind working on them and getting them plasti dipped and cleaned up. So that's that. Uh, I have to address some of the plastics on the outside of the car. Definitely going to do some lighting up upgrades and clean the headliner. I think that's it. Oh, and of course I'm going to do brakes eventually. Uh, the brakes are alright for now, but the rotors, I'd like to get the Zimmerman uh, sealed rotors all four and brake pads. I uh, kind of would like to paint my calipers uh, just to prevent them from rusting and since I'm going to do it might as well have some fun and paint them a cool color. I'm thinking of accenting, uh, making an accent color to go with this color which is like a grayish blue. 
I'm thinking purple, but not like a crazy bright purple, sort of like a muted purple. Um, and sort of doing purple accent lights, like my floods, I might do... If they make floods that you can turn, like, they change colors, kind of, like LEDs that you could select the color, I'd like to be able to go between white and purple, and, like, license plate light purple. I'm not gonna do silly shit like underside lights, I'm not that Italian. But, um, you know, uh, there's that, the brakes, and... Oh, and I also was thinking, since it's a turbo, I might get a snab rip kit and change out all the turbo hoses for snab uh, parts. And since I'm doing that, I really love the glow shift gauges. So they make, I might have to get a prefab for my car, but I did see a V70 uh, gauge like holster that goes over the middle speaker there, uh, like in the center of the dash there. And I would like to do. Um, which you call volt uh, meter because of the battery issue. I'd like to keep track of my battery. And I'd like to do a um, turbo uh, gauge because it's the only way you could really tell if your turbo is working or not. And I would like to do an oil pressure gauge because the oil and the coolant temperature seems to be, actually it might be a joint gauge or that's just coolant and your only oil uh, indicator is if it's low. So, you know, there's that, and uh, if I don't do an oil pressure gauge, uh, I might just do a clock, because there's no clock, although the updated radio I have is probably going to have clocks all over it. And I would like to look into, I'm not going to give it away of what I want to do with the phone yet, but I might have to upgrade the computer system in the car. I do have this really annoying um, on-call plus warning, on-call plus deactivated, and there's no way to get rid of that. Uh, the only way is to take it to the dealership, and I think they want $200 to do it, and they probably take out the phone, which I do not want to do, because I have plans for the phone, which I am going to keep a secret till the next video. So, yeah, that's, I think, everything. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and please like, comment, subscribe. This channel isn't just about automotive stuff. This is actually the first automotive video I've done on this channel. But if you like music and stuff, please check out the, the music re record reviews and record find videos I do. Obviously, I'm a record collector and I'm a DJ and a musician. So the beats in this uh, video when I was washing the car were made by me. And you could get that album in the description. I'll leave the Bandcamp link. So please support if you like the content and uh, you'll be seeing more. Uh, Volvo V70 videos. I'm uh, happy to be a member of the Volvo community uh, now. Volvo for life.